Okay, ne- next. <laughs> so, <laughs> I watched, um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of this one, but it's Abducted in Plain Sight. No. Nope. Uh, okay, it's another Netflix oh, one. What? Strap it. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> because I know what's about to come, and it's just. I'm not going to go into so too bonkers. much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I don't want to give anything bonkers. away because it is a, it's so wild. Like, it, the thing is, I think you almost could because it almost. No, I don't want to spoil all the twists. No, and no, turns. I, I, no, but I'm just saying, like, you almost could because it is so out there that people just wouldn't believe it. Yeah. So basically, it's a documentary about a girl who was abducted when she was 11, and she was taken by a family friend. So they were like the two families were really, really close. The dad was best friends with this guy. The mum was best friends with his partner. Blah blah blah. And the guy becomes like obsessed with this little girl. And then he abducts her, and I really don't want to say a lot more than that because it's like it's just bizarre because all the rest of the family just end up getting like tangled into it, um, and yeah, I I don't because Liam, I've told you stuff that happens in it, yeah, but I don't want to say what those things are because yeah, no, it's, no, fair it's, enough. Yeah, yeah, it's so it mad when this stuff starts unraveling that you cannot believe that these parents were, like, allowed to be, like, to take care of their own children. Like, they're, oh. they're tangled in it in very weird ways that, yeah. Just watch it because it's another one of those... It's a little bit more, like, complex than the Ted Bundy one um, because there are all these different things that start happening throughout. So it's got a lot more sort of twists and turns than than the Ted Bundy one um but yeah it's just it's totally like I, I still see people tweeting about it now yeah. being like I can't believe this just happened I can't believe that so I try and avoid any spoilers of it yeah and just watch and tell me what you thought of it because it's crazy basically I'll give it a watch yeah. I like all that I'm gonna true add that shit. to my list out of five out of five probably it's hard because, like, all the twists and turns and stuff, I could easily easily give, like, a 4.5. But it's not as well constructed as other documentaries that I've seen. So it would okay. probably be another 4, I think. Fair enough. But only because it is just nuts. <laughs> is that one yeah. a series or just a, a movie? I think it's just one single movie length one, I think. Because the Tem- Ted Bundy look. one is episodes. Yeah, I think this one's just like a one-off because I think that's why I sat and watched it. Yeah, it's an hour and a half. Yeah. I like that because you did this when you had a flu cat, your brain is like, yeah. was it Was it one hour yeah. or was this days? <laughs> I don't remember. I can't remember if during that, because during the Ted Bundy one, I think I basically managed to watch it in like a day, but yeah. with like flu fueled naps in between. Because you get to a point where you're like, oh, this is a bit too heavy. I need to have a little nap. And then you'd wake up and you'd be like, right, I'm, I'm back into it again. <laughs> but I think there's like six episodes of the Ted Bundy one, something like that. It's, and they're all about 45, 50 minutes, I think. So it's quite a lot to watch, yeah. but it's worth it. Yeah. 